great great grandmother was separated from her only brother. He was bought and sold to another field to work his life away. So we listened to your song "Free" as a team. Obviously, we got the shirts. Um, and a staff and it really touched us can you kind of tell us what inspired you to write that song okay so what inspired us to write that song was it was around this time four years ago the song was written four years ago just before the last election 2016 mm -hmm. and you could just feel um all of the uneasy uneasiness and tension in the air and just kind of like what we're dealing with all over again. And we were in Nashville um, sitting in a writing session. We were doing it with a well-known uh, producer and writer. Um, and we were just gonna do one song with him, write one song with him, but then the second song ended up being what you know now as free. And he asked Kim and I, "Did we? Would, would, do we wanna be brave? And we said, of course we wanna be brave. And um, he started, you know, uh, asking us about asking. like, you know, our age, like, how old are you guys? Are you guys old enough to have a great, great, great grandmother? And we were like, we could have a great, 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 great grandmother. You know what I mean? That was sold into slavery and things like that. And in that time, um, of course, we shortened the great grades because it sang better. <laughs> but um, when the song is actually um, a very true story, especially with that lines up with our family as well as many African-American people's family. It's, just, it's the same story. But what we've learned is that this story is a universal story, but it's told in different ways. You know what I'm saying? There's always been this thing that's happened even when you see the new immigration laws and kids literally being separated from their parents. and can't get to their parents, you know? Um, it's like everybody has a story like that in all types of cultures. And what we were trying to, to portray is like, look, we are all God's creation. We all believe the same. We all have the same feelings. We are human, we are a human race. And God has designed us to be here to love and help each other. No race is bigger than the other. No, it doesn't matter about your status, about money, or about anything. And in this country, we are very blessed to be able to do what you love to do. You're very blessed to be able to get an education because in a lot of countries, it's not allowed. We're, you know, a lot of countries, it's not allowed to even go on the internet. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, although things can be better, but it's going to take all of us to make sure that it's better. Being two black women in the country music industry, can you tell us some obstacles that you have to overcome or maybe some advantages you have over other singers or disadvantages? Could you elaborate on that? I honestly think that, see, Kim and Candy is, country music depends on what genre you're kind of entering. If it's traditional or if it's more the pop because country music is not the same that it was like 10, five years, years ago, ago, even last month, you know what I'm saying? Country has become very pop. It's become hip hop. It's become thanks to Nas, Lil Nas, Lil Nas X, <laughs> and thanks to Nelly with Georgia Borderline and Ludacris with Georgia Borderline, and you know groups like that, Carrie Underwood, Taylor Swift. You know, it's become very, very more versatile than it's ever been. More than it's ever been. So the door is op more open for African American yes. women to sing in country than it ever has been because yeah, you have a lot of them coming to Fort like Mickey Guyton she's amazing and she's been around for years yeah. like she's been around for years but she just was never offered the opportunity and right now I think I think the window is opening more and more um to to African American women and just in general from the, uh, to women period we're winning right now we got a VP as a woman like we're winning right now it, yeah, but at the same time, um, there is going to be resistance because people don't want to see change. They don't want to see, um, you know, they're, they're stuck in their thinking. They're stuck in how they think it should be tradition. Those ain't my type of people. We color outside the lines. I, I, I feel like this, okay. you guys, music is music. And God created music. And I think when you sing what you feel, 
and you be yourself boldly be yourself people people who get it and people who love it will support you those who don't you can't worry about that hey thank hey. you guys thank you, hey. Hey. Nice to meet you. all of you guys